Hi. So today we're going to look at specific things that you can look at to assess that your mind is getting renewed, like mark markers that you're getting. Oh wow, my plant fell. <laughs> markers that your mind is renewed, that you know, because we're supposed to renew our mind on the Word of God. Okay, so the book that we're going to read is Romans chapter twelve, verse three. For consider him, who's him, Jesus who endured hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. So think about Jesus. Think about Jesus Christ going through hateful things, hostility from sinners against himself. That way you don't get tired or discouraged in your souls. What's your soul? <laughs> your soul is your will, your mind, your emotions, and your intellect, okay? So if you consider what Christ endured on our behalf because of us, that should encourage you to keep pushing, to keep going, okay? So one of the markers, the first indication that you are having a renewed mind, you are getting better at having a renewed mind, is you're not self-centered, but you're God-centered. You go from I want, I think, I feel, um, it's about me, 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 to what does God want? Your desires shift. Your desires literally shift. I I know a difference. <laughs> I can tell a difference in myself. Like, I'm all about Jesus, but I wasn't always like this. And so your desires shift to what pleases God. What does God want? What glorifies God? You're motivated by the purposes of God, um, by his objectives. Like what is God trying to do on this earth? Oh, he's trying to win souls. Okay, so let me also evangelize. Let me also get on this app and do my best to edify the body of Christ. What does God want? He wants unity in the body. Okay, let me get on here and not try to um, discard the population of the body of Christ but try to bring them back together amen and it goes less to what do I get from this like what do I gain from coming on here when I don't feel like it what what it what is in it for me it goes away from that selfish ambition to selfless faith where you're like what does God want me to do I'm here to please Jesus Christ my Savior amen second indication is that you're not prideful and you're not self-serving and you're not self-seeking they kind of connected actually but you're not prideful because Christ Jesus told us himself in the book of Matthew that come to me those who are heavy laden and weary and i'll give you rest my burden is light my yoke is easy i'm gentle and humble amen and then in the book of uh numbers chapter 12 numbers 12 solidifies that god is indeed humble you guys god is humble we hear an entire story between moses miriam and aaron and we get to experience that god is a humble god and god does not play about his vessels amen so the second indication, like I said, is like not being prideful because that is the opposite of God's character and it is the exact um, copy of the devil. He is prideful, okay? Um, also, in Matthew 20, verse 25, 28, Jesus Christ explains that a servant is the leader. The leader is the servant to the other people. So as a leader, you are serving other people and you're teaching them how to serve others. As a leader, opposite to the kingdom of the world, opposite to the outside, leaders serve in this kingdom. They serve the people. They serve the purposes of God, the purposes of the kingdom of God. Amen. So, um, yeah, it's it just shows you the importance of humility and how once you humble yourself before God and you say, Lord, I just want to please you. I love you. I, I, I just want to do what's best for you. You are becoming more and more like him. You're transforming into Christ Jesus himself. Amen. Third indicator is being sober-minded. You no longer have the craving to smoke this, smoke that, drink this, drink that. You are more in tune to 
I need to be so minded. First Peter 5, 8 says, be sober minded. Why? The enemy prowls around seeking whom he may devour. And the target are always Christians. We're number one targets. Okay, so being sober minded is an indicator that you are having a renewed mind. Amen. You're not easily self isolating, easily depressed, easily this, easily that. You are not quick to fall into like extremes. You're, st you're staying grounded on the word because the word of God is the rock of ages. The word of God is Jesus Christ in like manifested for us amen so when you're grounded and you renew your mind on the word of god it shows it shows when something crazy happens instead of losing it like you used to lose it now you're like philippians 4 philippians 4 tells us bring all your anxious thoughts bring all your anxious thoughts philippians 4 6 to 7 with thanksgiving and I'll give you peace that goes beyond understanding. So you're able to renew your mind on the word of God. You're able to say things that renew and build you up. And you focus on whatever is pure, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is lovely. You think about those things. Amen. That is an indication that you have a renewed mind now. You're able to feed your soul the powerful word of God, which is active, alive, and is powerful and transforms the soul hallelujah okay the fourth indication fourth indication is that um you stay within god's given faith right you stay within god's given faith i don't want to limit god i don't but i have to be honest with you guys i cannot go up to a dead person and say in the name of jesus christ rise up and walk um God is helping me build my faith towards that. But right now, currently, I'm not there yet. So my faith is staying within God's given faith, right? All of us have a measurement of faith. All of us have a measurement of faith. Amen. I cannot limit God. If God tells me, go pray for that dead person, I'm going to go do it. But I'm not going to go there and just, yes, let's do this. You see what I'm saying? So it is not disbelief or unbelief. But it is understanding that I have to stay within God's given faith. And that, yes, he said, if my faith is as small as a massive seed, I can tell a mountain to move from this place and it goes into the sea. Yes, but I can't be extra. Like, I don't know how to describe it. This one's a bit um, hard to describe. But there's so many, knowing God's will, knowing God's character, um, really helps in this area so a renewed mind is knowing the character of God and being able to say well the will of God is this but I also know that God does things in mysterious ways right right Lazarus was able to be risen from the dead but Jesus Christ said his sickness his death was to bring glory to God so God will inspire you to pray like crazy faith prayers but sometimes we have to stay within God's faith, God's given faith. So it's God's given faith. And when that faith is inspired, whew, the amount of miracles that can happen is amazing. Excuse me, but being able to discern that the atmosphere is charged for that particular faith is something that's super, super important. And it shows that you not only do you have a renewed mind, but you understand the character of God and how he works within his kingdom amen amen